Hello there, Mr. Putin and Cat. Uh, I took out... <laughs> you know, I have to take things apart and see what, how they're built. I was looking at this Para Zapper My Zapper, and I just got finished running right now the units off so I could actually turn it on even, you know. There it is. Full functionality right off the bat, right? Now, I had the unit on this mode, actually, where all the lights are off. That's the indication of mode 8 which is the Clark mode. Now I ran 14 Clark frequencies with harmonics. It's 97% of all the Clark frequencies she's got listed in her large list with harmonics. Now I set this unit, like you could set this at like one and a half minutes, three minutes, seven minutes. I think seven minutes is actually seven minutes and 37 seconds each frequency. I have it set at 10 minutes, I think it's 10 minutes and 21 seconds or 20 seconds. And I ran that, so there was 14 frequencies, uh, I think it was 14, <laughs> I forgot, I think it was 14 or is it maybe 16, I think it was 14 at 10 minutes and 37 seconds each, I just got finished running that. But I had to take this apart, and I was like, well there's like four screws in the back, I said let me you know, to hell, right? And, you know, I took it off. Made in the USA. So, first off, I just want to show you, like, the battery compartment. You know, it has a battery cover, right? You just, it just snaps in when this plate is screwed on there. And, you notice the battery snap, it's extra heavy duty. See how thick that is? Now, the beauty of this, too, is even if, say, this ever did break, I don't know when it would, but, because I, I got the, I got the, I got other zappers that don't even have the heavy-duty snap, they're still not broken, and I use the hell out of them. Well, you just put another snap on it. <laughs> it's simple, right? It's very securely, this wired is very securely wired to the board. When this battery's in here, and the cover's on, it's got the nice, dense foam. It just nothing rattles around at all nothing every other zapper I got something rattles this one nothing rattles when you're shaking it see the board four big screws holding that board in nothing moves around at all nothing now you're not seeing the components of the actual complicated components they're actually on the opposite side of the board where if you take this off they're not going to be exposed to anything they're actually on the opposite side of the board now you notice also the banana plugs these are small these are in there very tightly too but you see how they're screwed in there very solidly plus look at the size of those solder joints that's you know it's a pretty strong little unit I mean it, it's deceptive that it's so small it's so lightweight fits in your palm of your hand but it's rugged it's a rugged little unit and you know, this is some pretty thick bomb-proof plastic. I mean, yeah, I guess you could step on it or something, but I don't, I'm not even sure. If, I don't know. It looks pretty solid to me, man. When this thing's bolted together, it's, it's one solid little unit. But I'm impressed with it because I just used the timer. I set the timer up to the max, 10 minutes and 21 seconds each frequency, and I just ran this mode 8 where all three of the lights are actually off. So like if I turn this on right now, it goes into mode one. See, one light, one red light. Now, you could set it so I could start it in the Clark mode by just holding down the mode button, and it could start in the Clark mode if that's my favorite mode. But I was just curious about running that mode. I ran it for uh, the whole cycle. And then, you know, when it goes through the entire... I think it was 14 frequencies at 10 minutes and 21 seconds each. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. A um, long time. long time. And um, I was running it actually feet to hands. And, um, you know, the thing is, the way he has those frequencies mapped out with the harmonics, it hits 97% of all the Clark listed frequencies over 97 percent which she covers pretty much everything and I'm gonna tell you even though like 
there's a little confusion about sometimes the frequency, some are this and some are that and all this garbage, you know, like uh, Rafe did one frequency and then he got the consolidated frequency disc, did another. A lot of that's actually from John Crane. And there's then there's Clark. But Clark is the most recent. Hold the Clark. She's got the most recent list. I'm not just talking about the simple zapper because this is not a simple zapper. I'm talking about her big long list of frequencies um, that she very accurately, extensively tested that worked on pathogens. So you're using a subharmonic of those, but it hits 97% of them with the subharmonic. But when you're using subharmonics, you have to remember <clears throat> you have to be very accurate for them to work to hit the higher, the higher. Um, you know frequencies like the, the harmonics of them well this thing's got the accuracy and there's nothing else that has it but I just wanted to point out this is a rugged little unit it, it's not going to seem like it if you just have it in your hand but and the board you're not seeing the complicated stuff that's on the other side I'll call it stuff you know the microprocessors because you're not if you open up the back of the case they're not going to be exposed to touch you're not really supposed to open up the back of the case but I just did because I was curious you know, what the hell's in this thing I did notice the battery snap, though. It was very thick. But I do notice, though, the board is not going anywhere. Every other zapper I got, the board is in there loose. This thing has got four big screws. It's heavily, it's strongly mounted to it. Uh, the other thing is these banana plugs. You know, you really don't have... You, it's bomb-proof, pretty much. Because, say, for instance, even these wires... Well, say, for instance, this wire pulled out of this banana plug by somebody... It doesn't seem like it ever will, but if it does, all you have to do is unscrew the banana plug in and put the wire back in. If you even have any kind of problem with anything, these are standard electronic components. So if you pull this wire out, you can see it's not... <laughs> Boy, that puppy's in there, man. There it is. It's out. It's a regular standard banana plug. So you got nothing, no weird components, one-off components or anything. Very solidly mounted, big solder joints, as I said before. So this puppy should last a long time. I think the warranty on it is five years, so that's cool. So I'm going to use the hell out of it. Anyway, <laughs> I was just curious, so, you know, that's what it looks like on the inside. And like I said, all the microprocessor chips and all that stuff are actually on the opposite side of the board you're not seeing those but you can see everything is you know it's bolted in there solid as all hell and big solder joints <laughs>